Well, keep it going for Bo, Bobby, yeah. What's up, guys? You guys remember the good old days when we all had to mask, well, wear masks everywhere? That was awesome, right? Worse than that, you guys remember the uh, mask Nazis we had to deal with? Like they'd yell at you if you didn't have your uh, mask covering your nose. Like they'd be like, hey, your mask has to cover your nose, you can't come in here. And I have a theory about those people. I think the same people that uh, were angry when you didn't have your mask over your nose are also angry that they don't make condoms that cover your balls. <laughs> <laughs> Me and my girlfriend have different love languages which can be a problem sometimes. Like my girlfriend's uh, love language is words of affirmation because he's a fucking bitch. <laughs> and my love language is uh, gifts. Like my girlfriend, she went to visit her family in Brazil last month and uh, she came back, she brought me some gifts from Brazil. Um, you guys in the US might call them herpes. <laughs> hey, it's not that bad. Once you get it once, it's like you're done. It's like you can only get it. It's like ripping off a band-aid. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard, but scientists have actually created uh, a series of love potions that they came out with. Um, it's guaranteed to make any woman uh, fall in love with you, except it's a little controversial because they're called roofies. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one. <laughs> so, uh... Fun fact, I don't know if you guys know, but uh, out of the 18 years of life it takes to raise a child, um, the average cost is $200,000, which is actually really good for me because within the last two years I've actually saved $600,000. I mean, you can't save that kind of money anymore. Damn you, Roe v. Wade. <laughs> I just dealt with my first stalker. Um, I'm proud it's my first one. I've never had one before, that's cool. Um, I was telling my buddy about it. I was like, dude, this chick's fucking crazy. I took her on one date. Um, I didn't even have sex with her and she's like losing her mind. He goes, that's it. I'm like, what do you mean? He goes, have sex with her, dude. I guarantee you she'll never call you again. <laughs> and so I did that. I called her, we had sex. And the good news is, uh, it was so bad, she hasn't called me back since. The bad news is, uh, she killed herself. It's okay, she's a fake person, you can laugh. <laughs> My therapist says I have to say that, the grieving process. <laughs> All right guys, that's my time, thank you.